What's good guys, your boy Hugo the Savage back again for another review of episode 4, Moon Knight. It better be episode 4 because I'm so terrible with it. It will be in the title of the video. This episode of Duno was named The Tomb. Wow, what a episode. Where do I get started on this one? This is one that once I explain, you're going to have to go and see it yourself. So I'm going to stick to the review of it. Another great episode. Once again, better than the last one. It just keeps getting better and better, more and more interesting. I watched this thinking today that this definitely could have been a movie. It felt like if we had an origin story to Moon Knight in the first place, then this would have been the second this would have been the second movie in the franchise, and I really reckon they could have done it because the detail they put into it was great. This episode was a mind boggle. The whole thing was it was quite easy to follow for the whole episode. And then we get to the end and there's a big reveal which feels like a it feels like a massive reveal but at the same time feels like we're being swerved and the, the director and the producers and whoever cooked this up has everyone thinking what is reality and what isn't and if you go by the show the episode then you think you've worked it out because they just lay it all out for you but in my i'm watching it thinking no it's a double bluff and what they've revealed it still isn't the truth. What I will say is there is a part in this where we get two, we get Mark and Stephen in separate bodies, but they're still the body, but they're in separate bodies. Um, that's the part what blew my mind in the whole thing. Um, obviously, country has been turned to stone, so we don't get no Moon Knight in this episode, which is great. In fact, I didn't, I didn't miss him at all because it's it's been prominent so far, but he hasn't been like. Um, the overwhelming character. If anything, I'm more interested in Steven himself. Um, once again, I've explained this in every review so far, but I have to say, Oscar Isaac, uh, the, when you step away from the show and you realise what's going on with his acting, and you realise that when he's talking to Mark, he's talking to himself, which by chance means that when he's acting, he's talking to blank mirrors, green screens, in different accents, and he's feeding off himself. Um, there's a few parts in this what made me laugh. Uh, what I what I said in the first review, where I said that, I think and it was it Layla? I said that it seems to me that now she discovered that there's another personality of Stephen. Stephen matches her. They're more compatible. They're both into the same thing. He's a bit more warming towards her. He's an innocent guy. Um, and he's just a nerd. He's just into archaeologists, just like her. Um, and in this one, you can tell that she she falls from a little bit, gives him a kiss. There's a funny part in it where Mark being taken the back seat in this episode makes Stephen punch himself in the face, which I found funny because whenever he turns into the body, he's gonna feel that punch himself, isn't he? So it, they, they really played into this episode that the the mind and the body have to be aligned with each other for things to happen, and one doesn't work without the other one, and. The mental health aspect in this episode really honed in. Um, not to take on a serious one, but just having experience with mental health, I saw everything and I was like, yeah, this is this is great. Um, really gives you the... If you haven't dealt with it yourself, it really puts you in the mindset of this is what certain people are going through in real life, which I thought was cool because um, it almost brings awareness to stuff, but it still keeps a light-hearted Marvel side to it. There's a few more gruesome stuff in this Marvel episode as well. A few like mummification stuff, which I thought was dope for, for us as fans. But we're not used to seeing much gruesome stuff in the Marvel episodes. Um, Layla had prominent parts in this as well, where she... If her name's not Layla at the end of this, this is a screwed up review. But um, she had parts in this where it was a lot about her story and the relationship between her and her dad. And the relationship between her and Mark and how they met. And, um, and Harrow kind of springs on her that Mark as the mercenary was there when her dad died um, you find you, you do get, you do pick up from Harrow in this that like and we've noticed so far he really doesn't believe he's doing anything wrong which makes him a great villain because there's not no badass I'm trying to kill everyone villain and this is just this is what I believe is 100% right and this is what I'm going with and I know that's how most villains in fact that is the how you make a villain 
they always believe in what but it just seems kind of not harmless but I just believe what I believe in I'm going to leave it there because th I'm not, this episode has to be watched by you you need to watch this and come back to the comment section 100% um, because if I speak anymore I'm going to give away the reveal and I actually want you guys to see it for the first time yourself and then come back to me um, but yeah it's been great man um Episode 4, man. I think we got two episodes left. From the way this episode finished, I'm really, really excited for the next one. I have no idea what they've got in store for us, in store for us apart from the fact that I still think we've been double bluffed in this one. Um, once again, no reference to the rest of the Marvel Universe. Um, comics, yeah, but in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, nothing. Um, I didn't pick up on any much Easter eggs apart from like things from like Indiana Jones and stuff like that. So, yeah, like I said, if you're a person who's not interested in the Spider-Man and the, the, the Thor and Iron Man stuff, which you'd be weird to not be interested, by the way. But if you're not interested, this is the perfect one for you. And uh, I enjoyed it. it. Made me feel like a kid again, like I was watching um, Discovery kind of movies, Indiana Jones and stuff. But I've been you boy with the Savage. That's been Pablo Savage in the background running. Um, running.